Uh, check out this school. This school's pretty cool. A New York public school principal sent a letter to white parents advocating for white abolition and urging students to become traitors to their race. <laughs> school employees are forced to attend presentations denouncing the white race, paternalism, and power hoarding NY. Uh, so this is, here we go. This is, this is one of the things that the principal sent out to the parents, which I think is pretty good. There's a couple of them. Let's, let's do this one first. So as you can see here, there's a little chart. There's, there's, there's only, from Barner Hess, there's only eight kinds of white identity. Okay. Okay. So let's see where you fall. I really want to figure out where you guys fall on the list, okay? Uh, according to this New York principal, your options are white, white voyeurism, white privilege, white benefit, white confessional, white critical, white traitor, or white abolitionist. So we keep getting told that we're like white Nash, like we're all horrible racists, right? But yes. why is it that I feel like the more I do this show, the more I feel like I'm the least obsessed with race out of anybody else in this country. Do you not get that feeling yeah. when you do this show? Like you keep getting called a racist and you're like, you're the one that keeps making white people charts. Like I don't go home after the show and go, I need to make another black people chart. <laughs> You know what I mean? I need to chart how terrible the blacks are. Somebody get me a Venn diagram. I need to prove how bad black people are. Not true, because I do that every year. It's called fantasy football. Okay, well, that's different. <laughs> it's it's so, you know, to be fair. I, I don't get why, why I keep getting called racist. I'm not making charts. You're right. Uh, Jim Edwards <laughs> says, you should take the test too, Royce. You're white now. Okay, I mean, I'll take it. I'll look at it. And uh, Kitty says the voyeurism one sounds fun. It's not what you think. You're looking at white people's buttholes. I don't think so anyway. Um, so there's a little bit more to this. So if you want a little background, this is uh, this is a description of them. This is what the principal sent. The eight white identities. There is a regime of whiteness, and there are, are action-oriented white identities. People who identify with whiteness are one of these. It's about time we build an ethnography. Okay, of whiteness, since white people have been the ones writing about and governing others. Number one, this is like, you know what? Hold on. I, I, I feel like they're getting white people in confused again, though. <laughs> they I know the people that rule over you look white. I know. It can be very deceiving sometimes. Um, okay, so. not. What do you mean they're not? Uh, in what way, Mike? They look white. They always they always say they're right. So, do you want to maybe you want to maybe read these, Mike? Because you do the better Letterman. Do you want to read these like Letterman? Uh, uh, I don't actually do a good Letterman. Well, okay. Did you know? I don't really do a Letterman. All right. Well, I'm gonna. I, I'm not gonna. I will read it though. Number one. White supposed Spirit. to do it. From the bottom up, if oh, you're doing, a, point, if point, you're doing a Letterman point. top ten list. Well, we'd have eight, so we'll start at eight. Okay. Here we go. Number eight, white abolitionist. Abolitionist. Changing institutions, dismantling whiteness, and not allowing whiteness to reassert itself. Ha, ha, ha. Ha, ha. Ah, dismantling whiteness. Number seven. <laughs> I wish I had a fucking keyboard <laughs> that I could just play. <laughs> bling, bling, bling. White traitor actively refuses complicity, names what's going on, uh, names what's going on. Intention is to subvert white authority and tell the truth at whatever cost. Need them to dismantle institutions. <laughs> so they're uh, they're dismantling institutions, huh? They're naming yeah. what's going on. Too. Yeah. White critical take on board critics of whiteness and invest in exposing marking the white regime refuses to be complicit with the regime whiteness speaking back to whiteness boom, boom, boom. <laughs> number five white confessional confessional some exposure of whiteness takes place but as a way of being accountable to POCs after seek validation from POCs Number four, sympathetic to a set of issues, 
but only privately, won't speak or act in solidarity publicly because benefiting through whiteness in public, some POCs are in this category as well. <laughs> ah, so some of the uh, some of the coloreds also do that stuff, huh? White privilege. <laughs> Number three, white privilege. May critique supremacy, but deep investment in questions of fairness, equality under the normalization of whiteness and white rule. Sworn goal of diversity. Number two, white voyeurism wouldn't challenge a white supremacist. Desires non-whiteness because it's interesting, pleasurable, and seeks to control the consumption and apparition of non-whiteness fascination with culture example consuming black culture without the burden of blackness and the number one the number one thing you could be from the eight white identities is Lonnie Donegan <laughs> white people white people <laughs> this chart actually describes Ding, 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 ding. David Letterman kicked off the air today. <laughs> David Letterman has been let go after mm -hmm. 30 years at CBS. Number one is... Ironically, by Les Moonves, who is, well, you know. Number one is white... Clearly mark white society that preserves names and values white superiority. So uh, whichever one you fall on, please... Uh, we're going to be giving handing out stickers at the end so people know who you are. Can I do the eight you want to be black eight? identities? Can we change it to that? Can we send this well, out no, because we need to try to make a living here. Can't we? Can't. We're Wait, not allowed, we're not allowed to criticize the black. Okay, you know, Mike. Hispanics. Ten years ago, that actually would have been a good bit. We can't. We're not allowed to do it. I mean, I know we're not, but that would have been a really good bit. You guys make it up in your head. It would have been really funny. We would have had a great. We've been laughing at it. People have been like, "Oh, those fucking RCC guys are so funny," but now you know you're not allowed because it's a literal hate crime. Again, though, the, just the fact that I keep t getting told that I am a white man who's obsessed with racism, and I've never in my life made a chart about black people or white people or Chinese people or any of that. Mm -hmm. Hold on. What are all the car crayon drawings in the spare room? Well, that's actually something else. That's a little different. Those are Mike's, uh, as he calls him, his list mm -hmm. of people that he's going to murder mm -hmm. for crossing him it's all for a joke though it's all a joke it's just a mental exercise what about that sign that says this is not a joke <laughs> please don't take this as a it's joke it's a little mental exercise i like to do never mind that half the names are crossed <laughs> off <laughs> one of them's george yeah <laughs> i don't know what that means I'm not that son of a bitch slipped me a fake 20 for some <laughs> fent i sold him <laughs> that'll that'll learn him yeah.